Hello, my friends. It's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and today I had a little bonus video for you. This video was originally intended to be an integration embedded within another video. So this is a sponsored video, but it turned out that there was just too much cool stuff to talk about with these products, and it ended up being longer than I intended. So instead of an integration, you guys get a bonus video. And what we're looking at today is some keycaps and some switches from this video's sponsor, Mozanox, or maybe Mozano, or maybe just Nox. I'm honestly not quite sure because it seems like they use all those names on their website and in their promotional materials. But I'm going to call them Mozanox because their website is mozanox.com. And uh, they sell all kinds of keyboard components like keycaps, like switches that you're going to be seeing here today. In today's video, we're taking a look at Mozanox's exclusive Eve switches and their awesome Night King keycaps. And of course, the links for all this stuff is down below at the top of the video description and also pinned at the top of the comments. And if you look down there, you will find yourself a discount code that you can use on Mozanox's website for 10% off. That discount code is the ASMR nerd. So if you'd like to save 10% on these switches and keycaps that you see here and that you're going to be getting a closer look at in today's video, then uh, that is the promo code you want to use. Uh, these are some really cool caps, some really cool switches. I have some good stuff to say about them uh, when we get on into this video, and certainly you'll want to hear them in action as well. They sound amazing on this board when typing. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at Mosinox's Eve switches and Night King keycaps. And again, a big thank you to Mosinox for sponsoring this video. So today we're checking out some exciting looking products from Mosinox. They've sent over some of their Eve linear switches, which look really interesting, and some Domi Key Night keycaps, which look super sharp. They are nestled within this thematically colored box here. You'll see why it's thematically colored in a moment. And it's got some fun graphics on the side here. These swords, which, as you might guess, have to do with the night keycaps. Let's take a look. So inside we've got the keycaps and the switches. Let's take a look at the switches first, shall we? So these right here are the Mosinox Eve switches. These are linear switches, so they're Kind of like a Cherry MX Red, if you're familiar with those, but a lot nicer, I'm willing to bet. They have no bump on the way down, no click, so it's just smooth from top to bottom. So here is one of the EVE switches. These are manufactured collaboration between Mosinox and JWK. We're going to get nerdy for a moment here, but JWK is the OEM manufacturer, and they're well known for manufacturing a bunch of highly regarded switches. And they have a reputation for making good value switches with excellent smoothness and pleasing audio characteristics quality of their switches is known to rival those of other switches that cost more than twice the price. So strong start with JWK as an OEM. So my first impressions of this switch are 
that it is delightfully smooth, buttery smooth. Here, I'll let you hear it as well. Put it in one ear and then the other. Listen. that nice? Not only does it have a very smooth action, but it also has a very pleasing bottom out. Kind of clacky, but a little bit of thock to it as well. And a pleasing top out sound as well. Listen to that on the rebound. That's the rebound sound. Very pleasing audio characteristics all around, and delightful smoothness, as is to be expected. Uh, the materials here are uh, nylon for the, the upper case and the lower case as well. And the stem is made of UPE, which is a kind of ultra-durable, uh, self-lubricating polyethylene. Inside, there's a gold-plated stainless steel Japanese spring that actuates at 48 grams force and bottoms out at 55. So that's a bit heavier, just a little bit heavier than something like an MX Red or a clone. Um, but it does give it this very satisfyingly mm, substantive push feel. It feels really nice. And uh, it actuates at two millimeters, as one might expect, bottoms out at four. So the total travel distance is going to feel familiar to anybody who's used Cherry MX switches or clones. Very nice. The tooling looks very good. The aesthetics of the switch are on point. I love the colors. And it's a five pin design. So we have, of course, the two contact pins here on the bottom. And then the main stability stem in the middle there. And then the two smaller pins on either side, which allow it to be either uh, PCB mounted or plate mounted, if you prefer. The stability is also really impressive. It feels really stable, actually, substantially more stable than, uh, for instance, the Gatoron Reds that I've been typing on recently. Very little wiggle there. I'm really looking forward to getting these onto a board and feeling how they respond under the fingers. Now, I must admit, I'm not a big linear guy. I know there's big linear Switch fans out there. Myself, I'm more of a tactile guy, so it takes a lot to impress me with a linear Switch. And uh, I'm feeling pretty impressed by what I'm seeing and feeling and hearing here so far, so uh, I really hope that carries through to the typing experience. We'll find out in just a few minutes once we get these on a board. Um, Mosinox sent over a uh, 90-pack. They're available as 70s, 90s, or 110s uh, for about 70 cents per switch, so that's quite competitive pricing uh, for a, a premium quality switch. So we will take a look at those and listen to those shortly. But let's carry on with the keycaps here. These are the Domiki Knight SA Profile keycaps. They are made of double shot ABS and they have a really fun colorway. So uh, we'll just start with the, the Alphas here. 
So Domiki are known as manufacturers of uh, very high quality double shot keycaps. Uh, this is my first set from Domiki actually that I've checked out, but uh, they have a good reputation. So let's just pick one of these here. I'll pick this guy right here. So as you can see, the main alphanumeric keys are uh, this very bright silver, basically white color with these royal blue legends. And they are in SA profile. SA profile is this retro styled spherical profile with these lovely curved edges here. And then this slightly scooped top that makes for very, very satisfying keys to press down on. Each one just has a, a chunkiness to it that feels really, really good. And that also um, translates into some really pleasing sound characteristics. Uh, these are, of course, made of ABS plastic, which is a good, durable plastic. Um, it's an alternative to PBT. Um, and uh, though they do tend to shine up a little bit more than PBT keycaps, uh, ABS does confer a certain feel and aesthetic that you don't get with PBT. And many of these SA sets are made uh, with ABS. Um, but because these are double shot keycaps, uh, these legends are never going to wear off. They are literally plastic molded into other plastic. You can see the legends are made from a separate piece of plastic that's molded and fused into the outer portion here. You can hear PBT has a fairly, fairly high-pitched kind of, or pardon me, ABS. ABS has a fairly high-pitched kind of resonance to it. But we will see, of course, how that translates into the sound once we get it on a board. Um, this is a nice, thick keycap. I don't have any calipers here, but it's on the order of maybe three or four millimeters or something like that. Very little flex. And of course, because these are SA profile, we have a, a stepped kind of uh, setup here where um, it's ergonomically curved as we go down the board. So I love the scooped J like this. It's very scooped feel for the homing row, the homing keys, I should say. Um, but those are just the alphas. So the alphanumerics, very clean, very sharp, very nice looking. But the most fun part of this set, in my opinion, is the mods and the novelties. Let's take a look at those. So here are the mods. Nicely protected in there. So once again, we've got this lovely retro-ish SA aesthetic with uh, the center legends, the sans serif font. Uh, I love the aesthetic uh, that SA caps bring. Um, and you can see that our mods are this beautiful royal blue uh, with the, the white legends. And then we've got some fun accent caps in gold. So this colorway, I believe, at least if I'm guessing, is inspired by classic JRPGs. Because if you go look at the Dragon Quest logo, it uses a lot of these colors. Specifically, I'm thinking the Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior, if you're North American, uh, three um, logo, but it's it's got all these colors in it. That's certainly what it makes me think of, and being called the Knight set, uh, it definitely jives with that aesthetic. So from the, you know, the silvery whites to the, the deep royal blues and the, the golden accent keys, uh, it makes for a very bold and sharp looking design. Uh, once again, we have these lovely double shot SA caps, super thick ABS, immaculate quality. They look really, really good and they feel really good under the fingers as well. The finish is quite smooth. 
by design. It's not textured, but that's part of the aesthetic, you know? Part of the aesthetic. And last but not least, of course, we have the novelties. Mosinox sent over the novelties for us to look at here. And the novelties are really fun. <laughs> uh, we've got all kinds of thematic thematic designs here, including the lovely Excalibur style enter key. Uh, we've got a sword in the stone kind of thing going on here. We've got goblets and crowns. We've got some stuff that looks a little Zelda-like, don't we? Uh, right over here. But um, uh, and then we have them in both the uh, blue on gold and the gold on blue as well. Uh, but all of this aesthetic harkens back to classic uh, RPGs, JRPGs and action RPGs of days past. And uh, I love this aesthetic so much. I think this is going to look killer once we get them on a board. So that's the next step. I'm going to take these caps and those Eve switches you saw earlier. I'm going to put them onto a board. And we're going to check it out. And here we have the Night King keycaps and Eve switches on a board. And if this looks familiar to you, that might be because I gave you a little sneak preview of this build in last weekend's video in an integration for this board. If you'd like to know more about it, I recommend you go check out that video. But today we're here to talk about these beautiful keycaps and these lovely smooth Eve switches. So let's start with the keycaps. The Night King set here is being featured on a 65% layout. Now I've got the base kit at work here, as well as a variety of the novelties, which are all very fun. Uh, I love the designs on these things. Especially, especially love the, the Excalibur uh, enter key there. And uh, I think the colorway looks just fantastic when it's all assembled like this. I should point out that uh, this is, as I said, the base kit and the novelties, uh, not the non-standard kit. So actually my right shift here is a little bit short for a 65% layout, and then the default right shift is actually a bit too long. Uh, if you did want to cover a 65% keyboard, you would want to get the non-standard kit to get the keycap that fits there properly. But in a pinch, this will do, and I think it still looks fantastic. Uh, and there is, of course, coverage for all kinds of layouts. You've got the base kit, you've got the non-standard kit, you've got the novelties, you've got all kinds of inverse color kits as well. If you want different colored mods or alphas that still fit with this colorway, all those options are available uh, for the Night King keycap set. In terms of the switches, we have, of course, uh, our Eve switches on here, and uh, they look and sound fantastic. Let me just give you a little sound test here. Don't those sound good? Uh, so uh, they are not filmed or or I haven't looped them or anything like that. They are just completely stock. They sound very smooth. They have a very pleasing bottom out sound. And I think it works especially well with these SA keycaps in ABS here, double shot ABS. And on this fairly dampened board that I have them on, I think they sound really good. But I will let you be the judge of that because we will do a full typing test in just a moment. Uh, I will let you hear though the stabilized keys as well with these switches just so you can get a feel for it. Isn't that nice? I think they sound amazing. So let's do 
a proper typing test so you can hear them in action. So as you just heard, these switches and keycaps together sound excellent. They have a very satisfying timbre to them. They feel excellent under the fingers. Uh, the smoothness of the switch and that, that very satisfying bottom out sound is perfectly complemented by the resonance of these SA ABS keycaps. And they feel just so satisfying, so good under the fingers with their slightly scooped tops as well. So if you would like to pick up some of these for yourself so that you can make your board look and sound as good as this one, you'll find links down in the video description and also pinned in the top level comment. And if you take a peek down there, you will also find some discount codes that will save you some money on the purchase of these caps and these switches from Mosinox. So I hope that you go check them out, and I hope that you enjoyed this little look at uh, these Night King SA keycaps and the Eve linear switches from Mosinox today. Big thanks to Mosinox for sponsoring this little peek.